friends will come, friends will go. They all seem to change while I'm still the same. Cause I just can't. Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It feels weird saying good morning when I'm filming this in the afternoon. So I have actually just had a morning where I've been to, there's a little Barney, been to the hairdressers this morning, just had a quick freshen up on the roots. I actually for the first time just had a T-zone because I was running a bit um, like I needed to be quick to get back. And I'm really happy with it. Obviously, um, what's styled and everything. I will show you, but yeah, really happy with the kind of teaser. My hairdresser always does like quite fine baby lights around my roots so that the growth is always really nice so I don't have to get it done all the time, especially being blonde. I just feel like the condition of your hair, if you overdo it, sometimes the condition starts to um, go a bit downhill. So anyway, I am actually back home now. Been to Home Bargains, had a quick look at their new like Easter bits in. So I did that on route home and I did pick up a couple of things. I don't think I got anything Easter related, but I'll show you those in a second. But this is Easter related, what I'm about to show you now. I had a delivery arrive, so I thought I would share it with you. <gasps> look, can you tell what it is? So when I say it's Easter themed, that is because I had a birthday voucher and I used it on an Easter egg. I was going to get Valentine's chocolates with it being Valentine's right around the corner. But if I'm honest with you, the Valentine's selection was very much sort of heart shaped chocolates that were a mixture of things that I don't know, like alcohol chocolates or like caramel, soft caramel that we don't really like. And I just thought I would get instead an Easter egg with my birthday voucher. So that's what I've done. So it comes in one of these tins. These are one of their like luxury Easter eggs that they do. They do huge ones as well. You can go mega expensive if you're wanting an Easter egg from Hotel Chocolat. And then they do much smaller, like little minis. This is the one that I went for. It's called the Extra Thick Egg Milk to Caramel. Half 40% milk with cookies and puffed rice, and half is caramel milk. And then obviously they are piled high with mellow truffles, pralines, and caramel. But just look at the thickness of these eggs. But yeah, how thick they are. And then obviously you can see in there the little tissue of there's more little praline chocolates in each half. And then I also had an Amazon delivery arrive, so I thought I could open that with you before I just head out to take Mr. Barney for a quick WALK because he hasn't really had a long, a long one yet today. And I feel like he is asking for a stretch why can't this move go back on i feel like he's asking to go outside he's sort of huffing and puffing and i'm like that's his sign he wants to go out <laughs> so i'll take him out in a second yeah welcome back guys what's new how is everybody i thought i would just do a bit of a vlog today it's probably going to go on to tomorrow because it's already it's already quarter past three and I'm literally just introducing the vlog now, so yeah. Um, I got a couple of things off Amazon that I just, they were kind of like things that were recommended to me and I thought, like homeware bits that I, I would never think to go on there for, but then when I saw it pop up, I was like, oh actually that's really nice. So this one's the first one and it's a set of four travertine coasters. So natural materials, so they are slightly, like each one's different. If I just show you up close, they're a real like textured travertine marble and they've got the cork base and then yeah each one is slightly different and I just love these so much so this is a set of four I'm thinking I've got four marble coasters in here but for in the other room maybe move the marble ones in there and have these ones in here i think and then this was another thing that was recommended to me really randomly but i thought i would pick it up it's a well they advertise it as a travertine still on the travertine toothpick holder so that you can have maybe just sat on the island that's what it looks like again that kind of natural stone texture is beautiful and a really like warm color which i love so yeah just sit that on have the toothpicks kind of standing 
in there that you can use. Or another way that they advertise this is if you bought like a, a cheap pack of matches, you can pop a few in the top and then also cut out the scratch pad and just stick a little circle of it on the bottom so that you've got a few matches and have that kind of like sat out on display, sat next to a candle and yeah, have like a little matches pot as well. So I thought that was quite a good idea. What's this one? This is, I've got a bit of a collection of these now. They're basically a, a box that looks like a book which are perfect for like filler books because they're cheaper than books to pop on like our shelves in here and in the other room which obviously we have uh, quite a lot of space still to fill out those shelves because I feel like especially the ones in here can sometimes look a bit sparse so I got this set of three books and obviously these can go in any room you know we could put these upstairs maybe in white like a natural linen and like a dark oatmeal color and like I said, they are actually linen covered books that are in fact boxes. So again, good for storage for like living rooms. They're good for like throwing your remotes in there. In a bedroom, good for like even like hiding valuables and stuff in because people just assume that they're books, especially if they're sat on a shelf. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Amazon. I will show you actually what I picked up, the few bits that I did get from home bargain. It looks like it's about to tip it down, doesn't it? I feel like I need to get out on this walk now. Before it gets dark as well, because Mr. Barney needs to be walked. You want to go for a walk? Yeah, he does. You hear what I said? You want to go for a walk, puppy? Say yes, please. Yes, please. Take me outside for walkies. Actually, I feel like I'm definitely going to get caught in this rain. We'll go in a minute, Barn. I'm just going to show everybody what I bought from her bargains. I've ordered another one of these. I don't know if you can see it from there, but these rugs. It's called the Stoents rug from Ikea. I have ordered another one from the front room because we've got rid of the jute one that was in there. Predominantly because it used to misshape on the edge and that would really bug me, but also because Barney had an accident when he had a bit of a tummy bug. <laughs> and the thick jute, there's just no getting it out. So we decided to take that as an opportunity to scrap it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we've got another one of these rugs coming and I'm so happy because honestly, Barney loves to just come and sit in here and just curls up on the rug. Chooses that over his bed quite a lot. So he's gonna love that in the other room as well. But I'll show you the bits I got from Home Bargains. Just a couple of random little things. Firstly, this. Uh, hot water bottle because for the last couple of months TMI when it's been time of the month I've just really craved having a hot water bottle for my tummy and I've I don't know where I used to have one I don't know where it is and I've been sort of looking for it and then by the time that I've given up looking for it my pain has gone and I just think I'm gonna get a new one and know exactly where it is so that when I need it we're good to go. So I've got this cute little cable knit design. These were, let me get my receipt actually because I was so happy with the price. I think it was like $5.99 or something. They had some cute Valentine's bits in as well, Easter bits, Mother's Day bits. $4.99 it was. And they did have plain ones as well, which is basically just this um, in that colour. But I thought I might as well get one with a little cosy cozy protector on it so that is what i got there and then i also picked up a couple of these again with barney's tummy bug we had a couple of accidents up the wall <laughs> it was, that's lovely so i um got basically through our um well we only had like one little half left of one of these eraser sponges so i decided to pick up a pack of two more after i filmed this bit um, couple, oh, couple of minutes. Yeah. I've only got a few things to show. Um, yeah, so I've got these erase waste sponges. They're really good for on like your walls, woodwork, because they don't like strip the paint, which is really good. It does say you don't need to use any products, so I just literally wet it. Yeah, walls and floor tiles, sinks, draining boards. We've got a new scent, which excites me. <laughs> Probably more than it should. 
So this is in the scent Honeysuckle, which I thought again would be great leading into spring. I quite like to get one of these kind of products, these little uh, room, like bathroom air fresheners to be able to test out the scent, see if I like it. And then if I do get more product, whether it be some spray or whether it be like room air freshener, whatever it may be that's in that scent. This is kind of like a test run of it. So I get one of those, um, how much are they? They're like three for three pounds, I think. I also picked up some scrunchies, satin scrunchies. You get a six pack for $1.99. Let me just refer to my receipt again. Yeah, $1.99 and they do them in different colors. So they do them with more like pinky into nude. This one, if it's gonna focus, there we go which is a couple of black, a couple of chocolate, and then a couple of the like champagne kind of gold. So this is the one that I went for, but yeah, if you prefer pinkier tones, they had those as well. But yeah, 1.99 for them. Giving dupe for the silk scrunchies, the slip ones. I just got some mints, which are actually in the car. This is the empty packet, which I've just replaced them with. And then I got some <clears throat> talc powder and Leslie. This, which I actually saw on their socials, I saw it on Instagram, and I thought, oh, that's a good idea. They're basically from a brand called Nuage, and they're called Vapor Shower Tablets. They were in the medicine section for like colds and coughs and decongestion, because you can use it when you're feeling like that, but I thought even just to give the bathroom a bit of a refresh. They are shower tablets that you put at the bottom of your shower that contain menthol, eucalyptus, and camphor, camphor? Um, infuses with the shower seam. This is a three pack. So you literally just have your shower as normal, but you can put one of these on the floor and the steam just helps decongest and give off a really fresh scent. And I'm, I'm sure you can imagine with the eucalyptus and the menthol. So yeah, I thought they were worth a try. Um, how much were they? £1.19 and that's everything my little mini home bargains haul. I didn't go overboard because I did think we're still quite away from spring and Easter and um, I don't want to get too much for spring decor because I do have a box already and um, I want to make sure that I use up what I've already got because I don't go overboard with decorating for that time of the year. I just like to have like fresh tulips out and a couple of little hints of Easter around the house but yeah that's everything I picked up from Home Bargains. I'm not really sure what my plan is for the rest of the day. I do have some work to do. So if I don't see you for the rest of today, then I will probably pick you guys up again in the morning where I've got something more interesting to update you on because now there's not a lot really to update you on. I'm gonna walk the dog, get some emails done, get some work done this afternoon, have dinner, get into my comfies and call it a day. I was gonna go to an event this evening actually, but with Tom being out, I need to be here to give Barney his medicine. So that was kind of on the agenda. That's why I was thinking maybe vlog, but I was also gonna go with Lydia and she's also had to cancel because she's got a pretty lavish collection launch. In fact, that is one thing I could show you. I will show you some bits that she very kindly sent over to me. So this is my favorite thing that she sent me and it's actually a set which is like a knitted collared um quite weighty uh like loose fit top and matching wide leg trousers yeah absolutely stunning and the quality of it and everything is just so nice this dress which is like a long sleeved ribbed dress i think it comes in a couple of colors Long sleeve, let me just stand back a bit. It's kind of got like a nice silhouette to it. And then it's also got this little tie that you can tie back or front. I think I prefer it tied at the back personally. Um, and I got it in, I got everything in a medium, I think, from memory, yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Again, quite thick and weighty, so it feels really great quality. I really rate Pretty Lavish, honestly. I think they've got some gorgeous pieces. And I've never been disappointed with the quality of something from Pretty Lavish. And then where's the last item? Last item's in this order because it's more of like a zip up jacket type. Well, not jacket, but it's a zip up knit. Oh, I just love it so much. Zip up knit, double pocketed, and you can do the zip from the bottom as well. So really versatile. I love how the actual hardware though is the same color as the top itself. So it's just a simple kind of lightweight knit 
I say lightweight, it's not, again, it's quite weighty, but like a knitted, super soft, collared, again, top slash shirt slash zip up piece. Love it. Guys, I had to share with you these Moyu London nail strips. I know I mentioned them in a vlog recently when I opened them and I said I'd let you know how I got on. They are incredible, especially for someone like me who does DIY at home gel manicures anyway. So I have my lamp, but I can't do the patterns on myself. So I get the patterned ones if like for now, I'm doing little Valentine's love heart ones. Um, but yeah, they've got so many different colors and designs and I couldn't recommend them enough. They basically last until you take them off so until they grow out I would say about three weeks uh, really really impressed with them you simply cut and file to size and then just cure them with your led lamp and you've literally got a gel manicure that lasts longer than if you were to use gel polish really really happy with them so I'll leave them linked below Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain We'll take it in the view You will find the life is I have managed to convince Tom to come with me, but we're just at a place called the Vintage Emporium in Stockport. And we were talking about getting some uh, reclaimed potential furniture. We need like a little console table, mirror for in our bedroom, maybe a chair where the wardrobe used to be, anything else? Frame, um, not sure, but we'll have a little look in anyway. It is dog friendly, but we've come on a weekend and it's incredibly busy. So, not sure how it's gonna go, but we will soon find out. So let's go do a little bit of antique shopping. I've got some Zara home bits that have been delivered home as well, so I'll show you them when I get back as well. You know, it's the first time that I've worn my new Christmas oh, purchase. It? Yeah, my new bag. Right, let's go antique shopping. There's no one to play. It's just the way it is. Like stone, the motionless in this world of stories. Oh, like stone, I'll be here forever, waiting for your call. We may have made a purchase or two. Just a little couple of things, which I'll show you when I get back. Sneak peek here. Barney and I are just sat in the car waiting for Tom because we've just been to the Adidas outlet. I'll show you actually what I got whilst we are waiting. We were really impressed with the Adidas outlet. I've been in there before and it's been sort of like hit and miss um, as to whether or not the stock is any good. I will say coming to that vintage emporium on a weekend is probably something I won't do again um it was just hectic and it's already quite tight in there anyway and then having the dog as well was just like an added element that was just like no when I've been in the past and it's been like week day morning whatever it's um I probably bumped into no more than five to ten other people it was hectic really hard to look around when it's that busy so anyway I got from Adidas let's see if I can pop you there for a second this is a little running top in this like beige kind of cropped tee that's oversized for me to just wear on like a run because i only ever have one nike t-shirt that i reach for 
for when I go on a run and I just feel like I've got a couple of vests but I could do with t-shirts so that's why I got that and then I also got these were a mega bargain tumble a few bits as well um she's got on him but these trainers they were reduced from 130 pounds down to 33 not bad at all and they had loads of different colors as well but I just got like the creamy neutral kind of color they're called the NMD which I used to have some NMD V1s, which I loved. They had some in there, but I didn't like the colours. This is the NMD V3, so very similar, but otherwise just a plain kind of runner style trainer that I feel like, oh, there he is. There he is. I had 15% off that, yeah. That, so did I. Hang on a minute, I got 10% off for signing up for the email. I'm already a member, I got it as You won't like that? I'll try it. Okay battle of who got the best bargains <laughs> yeah so that was the top was 10 pounds the trainers were 33 and then yeah when i got to check out they gave me an extra 10 percent off that price so i thought they were really good i'm happy with them um i'm just gonna wait for tom to have a quick look in the butchers and then we'll be on the road and ready to go I feel like I might as well whilst we're waiting to show you. I'll show you in situ a little better once I've styled it up. I was thinking on one of our shelves somewhere to pop this. And it's basically like a line drawing, but I loved the colours of this. So like that dark beige black and then on the kind of creamy aged paper line drawing. It just says, I think it says Dunlabin and Arm. To, I'm not sure. Dunlabin and Arm. Warratry Emmanuel James 1938 is the artist of that but I thought that was lovely yeah, we could just do some command strips and put it up but um, I'm thinking of just kind of like leaning it that was £19 and then I got this pedestal table there was no price on it that table and she said let me just call the guy who's just dropped it off for his stand Um think he was looking for 35 but let me check so i said can you ask for the best price and he said 30 and i was like yeah i'll take you for 30 30 pounds so yeah really happy with that and like i said i will show it to you once it's in situ but for now he's back can you Probably fit in there wait. wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait. we got these this morning from barbican well this donut so i think we're gonna have half of this before takeaway tonight oh barney sniffers going so better shot of our little new artwork what did tom buy 32 pounds down from 65 and you got 15 percent off a gilet what is that for like running yeah whoa yeah, and then that, that is an outlet trainer if ever i've seen one oh, what? <laughs> but it's the color for me are you, so you run in these, they're just not waterproof? Yeah. I was gonna say, because so, they're like basically mesh. Have you seen those running shoes that you can get that are good for your feet in terms of it's basically like you're running on the ground? And they're basically like... What do you run on it? Shoes, the sole of a shoe. Whereas these are more like... <laughs> Were you about to go in shot and then thought, no, not in my leggings. Well, is that all we're having then? Just pure sugar? Well, what else sugar? That's, well, I don't know, just a bit, something savoury? Maybe not then. Maybe just a donut it is for our lunch. We've not got one, so. In the end? Yeah. What time should we order it? Like at five then? A bit okay. earlier. Okay, I have got, for the first time ever, one of the new golden caramel white hot chocolates and i thought it was going to be too sickly it's very sweet but i actually really like it where should we put this maybe even on those shelves here you know in here <sighs> it's too far back isn't it it's too far back it's because these shelves are too deep i'll go in the other room anyway because i need to show everyone the um zara bits that i ordered we can pop this in here somewhere oh, i don't know i feel like i need a proper organized with these shelves if i'm being completely honest let's move this pop that there for now that'll be all right anyway like i said i need a 
the rejig I'm doing. Okay, so I've just popped that little table over there for now that we've just picked up for 30 pounds. How nice is she? Little pedestal table. I am thinking actually there it might be quite nice with maybe, oh, I don't know actually. The other option on what I was originally thinking is to put it here, which obviously I've just bought this from HomeSense, but that can go somewhere else. And then having said that, when I've put it next to it, let me just show you. There's quite a height difference with these two. So I feel like because I've been used to this home sense one now, I'm thinking, is this too high to go there? So when you sat having your coffee, what do we think? Is that a bit too high? Because we could move this elsewhere. We could put this in the kitchen space um, instead and keep that one that I bought originally here. Keep that there. We'll have a play around anyway. I still need I need to give it a bit of a clean. Um but that is our table, £30 bargain. Just need to clean it up and find a home for it. Okay, let me just take my bag off and go and get these Zara bits. I need to like actually build them, I think, and put them away properly. This one, I'll just show you in the box for now. It's like a dustpan and brush, and then I've also got Another two big boxes, one of which is a toiletry caddy, which I'm thinking to pop in the basement because we've got no storage down there at the minute for like toiletries. And also we've got open basket type display thing, which we're thinking about putting in the pantry, the way that they've styled it up basically, in the pantry with like potatoes in one drawer, onions in another, and just kind of having it free for all. But I need to sort out the pantry before I properly put it in its place. Uh, so I'll show you the other couple of little bits that I got. Uh, oh, if I can get it open. I probably won't put them on straight away because I am working with Hammond's, but when I first had the designer come and fit, uh, like do the measurements for my Hammond's wardrobes, which you'll have seen by now, they were sort of explaining to me that their collection of handles, I guess in a sense, are limited, whereas online you've got however many you want to look at and he did say a lot of people what they tend to do is just buy their own handles so I always had in the back of my mind I would do that uh, but the ones that they fit I do love but they're like an antique pewter rather than an antique brass so I felt like when I saw these I, th I thought these would go um, perfectly so I picked up eight of these and they are an antique brass little glass fluted handle like just a little doorknob, which I thought I would replace the other ones with. So at some point I'll do that because like I said, I need to get the content for Hammond's first. I don't want to be advertising different uh, handles before they've, um, I think they I think they want to come and do like, take some photos for their website. So I said, that's fine to do that. But I'm, yeah, I'll just hold off switching those over until they come and do that. And then, these were in the sale, they were a pound or two, and they are these two pack of these uh, sponges, which are just perfect for throwing in the sink for dishes or for cleaning as well. And then I also got these, which I've never seen these before. I thought they were really cool. And they're essentially called aromatic papers, and the way that you have them, say if you've got like a little dish for maybe like an incense burner or something, you have these papers which you can burn and it emits oh that smells really nice i love that what is that i have no idea what that scent is but it's amazing so this is this is actually three sets of paper so you just tear it off burn it light it and then once it kind of burns it diffuses the scent or like yeah so really intrigued by those so i thought i'd get those to try did i buy anything else i think that was it three main bits of furniture so i'll probably do a bit of a unboxing video for those on my instagram homeware account but that's everything that i picked up today but yeah i think we're just gonna have a chilled afternoon i'm gonna well I have my hair in a slick back bun, but it's quite uncomfortable to sit all day with it like this. So I might just throw it up in a pony or even wash my hair. I'm going to go finish enjoying my hot chocolate. Watch Avengers Endgame with Tom. Oh no, is it Endgame wrong? Yeah, it is Endgame. And yummy takeaway tonight. I love a takeaway night. Oh, it just, I just know that it's 
minimal cleanup, which as much as I am grateful for Tom for cooking because he is the best cook ever, it just gives me a night off having to like do all the cleaning as well. Might even crack open a puzzle, jigsaw puzzle this afternoon. Feels like a proper Sunday. It's not even Sunday, it's Saturday today, but it feels like a proper Sunday. Isn't that a good feeling when you've had like a productive, wholesome, good Saturday? We've still got Sunday to go. Oh, I just love it. We very rarely, between Tom and I, have a weekend where we just get to enjoy both Saturday and Sunday and not work. I know I'm vlogging now, but it's like, I'm not editing. Um, and we've spent all day together. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Love it! This is our set up Queen's Gambit. Let me just pause that for a sec. And Indian takeaway. We've gone for lamb biryani tonight. And then, what else have we got? Chicken tikka. What, is this the starter? Prawn puree. Pu prawn puree. Some poppadoms, which I don't tend to eat poppadoms. But we've got a roti I've gone for. Love this. I always get like extra of that. And Tom always likes extra cucumber. I'm in my comfies, all showered and fresh hair wash, ready to tuck in. So I feel like I'm probably gonna close off the vlog here. Mm. I'm ready to dive in. And I think that's gonna be our plans for the rest of the evening. Now that we're into Queen's Gambit. It's kind of like an older series as well, but let me know if you've seen it. My hair is <laughs> crazy. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.